Hey guys, happy Vlogmas Day. 15, right? 15? 14, 16, lost count. But anyways, we're here in the grocery store. I know it seems like we go grocery shopping every day, but honestly, we only make meals that'll last us for like three or four days because we honestly don't know how to shop for food yet. That's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> we really don't know how to shop for food so we don't want to waste food and we try to go shopping like probably like every other week so today we have to highlight the year we have to share our highlights of the year that's what's on the vlogmas calendar today so we're going to be posting on our tiktok and our instagram so if you're not following us it's in the description box let's check in with shanae and see what she's up to all right, we're on Vlogmas day 15. Today we're sharing our highlights from this year. Um, so, my first highlight would be moving from LA to SAC. That was a big like transformation for us. Getting this new house is also a highlight. It's part of that highlight. So I'm excited for that. That was definitely a learning experience, buying a home in Sacramento. Another highlight is finding out about my pregnancy this year. What? What'd you think? Too late, I already know. What is it? I already know. What is it? Stay pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> it happened after our anniversary and um, we were both definitely surprised, but um, we're excited to be growing our family and it's another boy. I told my mom and my sister um, at breakfast, I feel like I, I always announce it at breakfast, um, and everybody was excited. Guess what? Oh, look, he bought the hat. Congratulations! Yes. It's just, it's going to be a lot, but I'm excited to meet him, and we're still, we still haven't picked a name yet, so I'm um, working on that, but my due date is February 27th, and I am 29 weeks. Another highlight is Nazan turning one this year. Um, it was a lot going on during his birthday. It was also on my birthday. We were moving and um, we just wanted to make that day special for him. It was boss baby themed. Um, I know that's not something he's going to remember, but I feel like it's kind of the same thing that we did with Indra when he turned one. Um, so we just kept it like very, very simple themed and very intimate it was a fun time and next year i'm definitely going to like pre-plan everything and make sure everything is like planned out so that it's not last minute but next year i'm obviously turning 30 so that's gonna be like a big birthday for me it's so weird sharing a birthday with another person now I have to share it with two people, <laughs> but it's cool. Oh, another milestone for Nazan, I would say, is that he's already walking. Like, that's just like a big thing for me, like right now. Like, I'm surprised that he's walking so early. I know um, NJ, I think NJ walked around the same time, but it's just good that he's getting like these milestones out of the way before his um, brother come. Now I have to potty train him. So if you guys have like any tips, any any mothers out there have any tips on potty training and sleep training, because I'm also trying to get him to like sleep throughout the night, because he wakes up like um, once every night, and I gotta get him sleeping through the night, and I gotta get him potty trained. I know that's probably not gonna happen by February, but it's just another thing added. On my list of things to do <laughs> we also got a new puppy a new addition to the family his name is Saint it's a King Corso um, and we got him when he was about I want to say five months 
I'm not sure. We got him when he was a little baby and now he's like growing really, really fast. And he, uh, at first he wasn't like messing with us. Like he was scared. But I think within, I think like after like the second day, he was like trying to warm up to us. Um, but he's a good dog overall. He just wants to be, um, he just wants a lot of attention. We try to like, Make sure he's included in things with the family so that he can, like, bond with us and stuff. And he's such a good dog. Like, um, he loves playing with the kids. I feel like he's going to be, like, their protector. And it's going to be great. I can't wait until he, like, gets full grown. Like, it's going to be crazy. Another highlight this year was our anniversary trip to Napa um we took me and my husband took our first um cooking class and we stayed in this nice luxury hotel like it was like the best experience ever um we had so much fun on that trip and um i would definitely go again and want to stay at that hotel again it was i think it was called um macarthur but it's really nice you guys should look it up um we got massages there um we did like a um, wine tour with another group of people which was a fun experience as well um and we was just chilling and vibing and i think we stayed there for like two nights or three nights um but yeah, it was really, really fun. Um, something I will never forget. Um, the last time I went to Napa, before this, um, we did the hot air balloons for uh, me and Janae's birthday. And that was very exciting too. I feel like every time we go to Napa, we like experience something for the first time. So I wonder what we're going to experience next time we go to Napa. Stay tuned. Another highlight, I would say, my last highlight, um, I know we're supposed to do five, but this is six, I believe. Um, <clears throat> our TV show, um, a TV show that me and Janae had speaking roles on came out this year in March. Um, we worked with the, with Prisoner Bay, if you guys know who that is, that's, um, that's this guy, I forgot his name. But, um, yeah, it was really cool being on set and having a speaking role. I was kind of nervous, but, um, but it was definitely a great experience. And, um, we were actually rushed onto set, like, our, this makeup artist that we know recommended us because I guess they were looking for twins. And so she recommended us while she was on set because she was working on set as one of the makeup artists. And um, that's why I feel like it's very important to have these connections in L.A. And, or connections anywhere because anybody can, like, recommend you for anything. Um, recommend you for your work, your um, how you act it, um, on set. It's very important. So we try to, like, be professional most of the time so that we can like rebook and build better connections um but yeah that was definitely a fun experience we were on set for like two days if you guys want to go check it out it's on BET plus um and it's called legacy are you girls done? i think so because i got that that's so great <laughs> Wait, it was cute. It was so cute. Sorry, I'm obsessed with these. These, I can eat these all day, every day. Like, I think they took over Hot Cheetos for me. My husband put me on these chocolate balls from Lindor. These are so creamy and so rich. White chocolate is so good. Although it's expensive, I'm putting y'all on right now. I recommend these for Christmas. I eat them throughout the whole year, but oh well. <laughs> now you guys probably don't know this about me, but I freaking love 
love chili cheese fries, especially when they're homemade. I had some last night, um, but that's probably like my favorite meal. I know, that's weird. Out of all things, it's chili cheese fries. But they don't have the turkey chili. That's what I eat. We literally just watched this movie, Candy Cane Lane. I didn't know it was a tea. That's pretty cool. I don't want to try it though. <laughs> Comment down below if you're a tea girl, a coffee girl, or a hot cocoa girl during this season. I'm a tea girl. So I'm gonna try a new tea. And I think I wanna try this tangerine orange. That could be good. Always need vitamin C, especially during this time. Look at the ugly sweaters they have. Now these are ugly sweaters. Ones in Target were just so cute. Like walking around. Oh, monster truck. Whoa. I got battery charge. Not yet. Christmas is coming up. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Um, we're back home. As you can see, I'm in my bed. And basically, we're supposed to be highlighting the year. I'm going to do five highlights. Sinead's going to do the same. Number one, well, these are not in any particular order. 2023 has not been like a great year for me, but I do have a lot to be thankful for. And I'm so grateful to have made it to the end or close to the near end of 2023. So I thank God for that. These milestones that I'm about to share have been like really motivating so i'm definitely going to be looking forward to 2024 and what it has to offer but with that being said first and foremost hitting 100k here on youtube we were so excited to hit 100k it's been a long time coming we literally um been on this youtube journey for years and years ever since we moved to la so that's like over 10 years ago we've been on YouTube and to just now be hitting 100k that's like so exciting and such a milestone in our careers and in our lives um, we basically share our whole lives on here so it basically pushes us to want to do more because it's such a huge milestone for us so we're grateful for you guys watching and supporting us the second most highlight would have to be our Texas trip to the NUL conference. We got invited to a, a huge conference um, in Texas and that was such a highlight in our career because we were able to, you know, grace the stage again, um, but as Nene Twins this time, not as like professional dancers behind an artist, we were able to just showcase our talent and be, be the talent, you know. Another one obviously is moving back home to SAC, although it's only been about three months I would say that we're going in the right direction and I'm happy that we made the move so um, I'm excited to see what Zach has to offer really <laughs> another highlight would have to be um, our baby turning one this year we're so excited that he's growing so fast every like little milestone that he continues to reach is such like a proud moment for us as parents and we were even told by his doctor that we were doing a really great job caring for him. So that really touched me um, like as a mother because it is really hard. I, I don't understand how single moms do it. I'm giving all praise right now because it's really hard, especially when my husband is um, at work and I have to tend to him all day. And it's just a lot. But it's worth it like it's definitely worth it i love that little boy <laughs> oh he getting in trouble <laughs> um my last highlight of the year would have to be our one year anniversary that was in the beginning of the year though that was in february of this year um we celebrated by going to a a local resort resort which was um in la we were still in la at the time and it was actually really really um relaxing and just peaceful and it was just me and my husband and we had the time of our lives and we were able to like really connect with each other and that was actually our first time leaving our child with someone 
with um, someone else. He was left with Shanae, but still, leaving him with someone else, it was, like, very hard for us to do. But we got through it, and I'm excited for our two-year anniversary coming up. Um, in February 2024 not sure what we're gonna do yet but I'm so excited and I can't wait to celebrate two years um, this year has definitely been challenging to say the least but I honestly take it and see it as a transitioning period of our lives right now and um, I just can't wait to come out to the other side and come up on top so Stay tuned for more content, a better version of myself. For myself personally, you're going to see a lot of growth. And within the brand as well, Nene Twins is going to soar 2024. <laughs> I forgot to mention, 2024 is going to be lit. Mark my words, because all of our friends are turning 30. Me and Shanae are turning 30. And... Like, it's just a milestone year. It's going to be lit. Full of traveling, full of turning up, full of parties. Shanae's not going to be pregnant anymore, so you know we're going to turn up. You know all the content is going to be coming, dances, everything. So, mark my words. It's going to be 